Next up, we are going to make all these gray pieces that you see going here. So they're the pieces uh, going lengthwise across the box here. And let's jump right in there. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create a linear pattern. And we're going to repeat this piece. So we're going to make a new one. And notice it says direction. And that direction should be going along this line. You just select the line and you can see which direction it's trying to go in. And the distance should be the width. You can see when I do that, boom, it pops over there. But I will notice right off the back, it is going slightly too far. So it's width minus the thickness. And boom, now it is going there. So when it does that, it's patterning it from this outside corner to the far outside corner. So that would actually be slightly too far. So minus subtracting that thickness is going to be fixing that problem. And then we want more of these, right? So, uh, you know, this number's kind of up to you. I would say I want four of them for mine. Oh, but look at that. It puts more of them over there. So coming back to this problem here, let's that little math here. Let's say all this divided by four. Oh, but see, you know, I wanted four sections, but now that means I need five of these boards, five of those separate pieces there. So I actually want five if you're thinking about the sections. If you want to play with that, you can change that number around. But essentially, this number should be one smaller than this number. And there we are. Got that going. And we're saying, yeah, I like that. Um, before we go any farther, if you want to move any of these around and play with where they're at, we can cl click on Transform there and then select the one you want to move. Maybe I want to move all three of these and just slide them all backwards slightly. Um, I want to translate them by X, Y, Z, and that gives me a little handle there. I can slide them all. Maybe I want that back one to be skinny so it can fit all my nice makeup brushes and all that stuff. So I'll put that one right there maybe. And you know, I like that for now. You can play with those, make them a hobby you like. And while we're at it, notice these are overlapping here. So we want to try out using a Boolean. We want to subtract, as we've done in the past. Tools, these are doing the cutting. And target is this bottom piece. And we're going to say subtract, keep tools. All right. Look at that. We're starting to get some pieces there. Last thing before we go here, let's, I don't want these all to be the same height. I want to lower some of them. So, oops. So let's say that I want to lower all three of these, excuse me, four of these, and I want them to be removed, and I want them to all go down, well, let's say 0.5. That didn't work when I pushed that. So let's go back to that. And look at that. It's telling me I need to select which things I want to remove from. There we go. And you know, you can play with that, change them around how you like. Maybe you want the front ones to be even lower. So I want to maybe do another extrude. And the reason I did all three of these at once is I want to see, show you what sometimes happens. Like, watch that. I want to extrude this one and I want to remove it going downwards, but ooh, look, it leaves these little pegs on the side because that surface I'm extruding is not counting that surface on there. So check this out. I actually want to have that. That's one option, but you know, maybe I don't like that there, so maybe I don't want those two pieces. Maybe I'll do this extrude and then Afterwards, I can just come and click these parts and find the, oh, there's the piece I don't like. 
get rid of that. And look at that, those are gone now. I like that now. All right, so we play with that. Um, once you like the height of them, we'll come back with another video and we will see.